Hey everybody, welcome back to the Sparkling House and uh, thought it'd uh, be nice to give you guys an overview of the outside condition of the house now. We're currently, uh, I'm standing on the north side of the house, you can see here, um, beautiful. Uh, let's go out here to the front so you can kind of see some of the things that we're dealing with out here. So out here, this is the front yard and as you can see, you can't really see the house very well. Uh, there's two very broken, kind of severely damaged uh, evergreens of some kind. And uh, you can see the top of that one looks like it's like basically broken off. Uh, and that one's just missing its top altogether. So clearly had a rough life. Uh, we're gonna probably un end up removing those trees, which is sad because I, you know, they're very old. Uh, but that's that's just totally a blocking off one of the coolest attributes of this house from the road, as far as I'm concerned, which is that this house has an incredible tower on the front of it and uh, going to need some some love. But I mean, come on, look at that Oculus window up there and uh, the front of this thing is just amazing. You can see up here, we got some roofing problems right there on the tower. Uh, and uh, the porch definitely needs some love up here. It's looking uh, dirty at best. It's got some uh, problems with the deck and this old, uh, old stairs are pretty rough here. And then uh, the uh, lovely putt-putt uh, 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 golf course here, uh, carpet. Um, <laughs> a little, leaves a lot to be desired. And then uh, one of my favorite features the, uh, the amazing amount of cable TV connections to this house. Uh, so this is the front entrance to the house and it looks kind of shabby from out here, but you can see it's still got the transom, which is gorgeous. And then uh, this woodwork here surrounding it is just incredible. These are like, like a two plus inch trim piece that surrounds it and that actually is the same on all of the doors uh, and it's all intact, which is, is awesome. Uh, other cool feature here is these windows are floor to ceiling um, on the front of the house, which is amazing. Also, uh, definitely kind of like that old school, like host a party in the summer and be able to just walk out on the porch from any room, kind of a thing, super fun. Here's another view of the front facade that you can't see from the road. Uh, just incredible, incredible house. Uh, you can see the shutters though are pretty rough. And uh, But one thing I want you to notice as we're walking around is that, to speak of, there's really not a whole lot of settling cracks on this house other than places like this, where um, clearly improper headers were put in over this window and the, the uh, structure is not supported correctly. So over time, the bricks here have cracked. Here you've got where uh, clearly either the window was added or, or uh, you know, something wasn't done right there and it's not supported along the brick there. You can see the structure or cracks in the structure where it's not supported correctly. So things like that are gonna be some challenges. Uh, up here, you can see the roof over this uh, bay area is, is in rough shape. Gonna need some major rehab there. But check out those corabels. They're just amazing and they're actually in really good shape. Most of what's up here I would suggest is, is actually in shockingly good shape for the kind of age that this house has. Um, all that trim up there on the, on the eaves is just amazing. Uh, but you can see there is a spot where right there in that valley, uh, there's a spot where that has gotten uh, pretty pretty uh, damaged with water. So we're gonna have to do some, some rehab there. But overall, the ex exterior of this house is actually in insanely good condition. Um, there is a little bit of spalling, which uh, if you're not familiar with that term, where basically the face of the brick is the hardest, pops off if it gets water underneath of it. And there's a little bit of it back here uh, where we're gonna have to pull some bricks out and redo some some stuff back here on this corner uh, Where it looks like a maybe a bush or something was let go and got kind of into the Into the masonry there and then it just ate it 
Uh, so, and there's a couple more of those along this back wall right there and a couple more spots here. But that's that's the majority of it is actually right here in this these corners. Here's another what used to be an exterior door. And you can see again, it's got that, that uh, incredible uh, round trim uh, going around the perimeter of it. So that's really amazing and cool. Uh, that goes into that mud room in the back of the house. This is one of my least favorite things. Uh, although fortunately, I don't think it's gonna be that hard to, uh, to uh, change. But this, uh, this cinder block thing on the outside of the house is what they were using to house the boiler system. And uh, it's, it's actually freestanding. I don't think there's even brick ties anywhere into the house. But there used to be a, a door that went into the stairway that's in the kitchen, an outside door right here. So you could come into the kitchen from here. And that's underneath of there. We haven't actually opened that up to look at it. So I'm not sure uh, what condition that's in on the outside at this point. Um, but, and then uh, because they didn't have a proper chimney, they did this insane structure to get the uh, spark arrestor up above the roof line far enough but it's on the on the perimeter of the house um, but i think we're going to be able to get rid of that without too much trouble and then this housing around uh this entrance to the the basement stairwell is uh eh, it doesn't look good i just i don't know how else to say it it just doesn't look good but uh We'll be addressing that at some point at a, you know, on down the road. All right, well, that's kind of the, uh, the exterior walk around. Hope you're enjoying following along. And uh, now let's get to work and get this thing in shape. All right, see you soon.